It's a shortage of medications and it's happening in fire departments across the country. Heart attacks, seizures, serious injuries from car accidents. That's when paramedics often use drugs to keep struggling patients alive. But we've learned EMTs are struggling to keep their ambulances stocked. This is where we have all of our advanced life uh, support medications. Clark County Fire Department keeps about 60 critical meds on board. But the department says there's a problem keeping enough at the ready. Our, our narcotics, which is morphine and, and ketamine, we've noticed a shortage there. Las Vegas Fire and Rescue and Henderson Fire say they're seeing shortages too. In fact, it's happening all over the country as our sister stations are reporting from Indiana. It's forcing paramedics to take extra steps and to Florida. Paramedics and EMTs are experiencing a shortage. Other in meds in short supply include epinephrine for allergic reactions and sodium bicarbonate for cardiac emergencies. Clark County Fire emphasized that patient care will not be compromised, but says finding replacements and making sure they work creates new challenges. And then what we have to do is very quickly and um, efficiently put training out to our men and women so they can use the new medications appropriately, accurately. The FDA says drug shortages can occur for many reasons, including manufacturing and quality problems, supply disruptions or delays, and discontinuations. We've got the FDA's detailed statement and a link to the full medication shortage list on our website at KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.